Let me ask this question. There have been some really terrible owners in the National Football League, in the history of the NFL. Terrible. Really bad. Um, all you got to do is read the um, the Bo Jackson um, biography oh, by Jeff Perlman about owner? Hugh Culverhouse. Yeah. Just uh, honestly, you could, you could just go down the history of NFL owners. But in terms of the patent disappointment on the field and the behavior behind the scenes and the problems that are caused, the ditching of a classic old stadium for a new one, that had to happen. I mean, I get it, you know, buildings date out, but then you move into a new one based on where it's located and how it feels for the fan base to try and make that transition. And then trying to build a new stadium in your own town and you can't get a deal done because nobody wants to deal with you based on how you've dealt with them and the town and then taking over media outlets, buying them harassing people. Put it all together. Is Dan Snyder the worst owner in the history of the National Football League? He's definitely on a Mount Rushmore. Washington fans would say yes. I mean, They hate that guy. You have to just put it all together. And I know I'm talking about the entirety of this majestic sport that, and league that I understand has its flaws. But uh, I have seen up close people who are doing their jobs and keep the flame and love doing it and take it seriously. I've seen it up close, and I understand people think I'm caping. But that's it. No cap. No cap. I, 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 but they do allow, <laughs> you know, I, I won't hear a thing from the NFL about what I'm saying right now into this microphone. Is he the worst owner in the history of the NFL? Of the issues and the the investigations in Capitol Hill testimony that has been demanded. And again, the disappointment on the field, the meddling, the threatening. Good Lord. And they still and now they see the finish line. And there's still an issue by reaching the finish line. And by the way. After all of this that I just said about him, a $6 billion payday awaits. So that, I know the headline is how, you know, you know, the Gruden emails did in Dan Snyder. He's been done in to the tune of a $6 billion payday. I'd like to be done in by right. the a similar way one day. Kind of like the Donald Sterling thing, who is also on that list. Well, I mean, I mean, in terms of elsewhere, and I, I don't want to conflate the two. I'm just, I'm just talking about here in the NFL, because obviously Sterling opens up a whole different area. <laughs> My God. Uh, just really, like the door is there. Please let it hit you in the ass on the way out. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.